Reality TV Exposure of explicit content Like any genre of film or TV program, the exposure to explicit or violent content can have an effect on its audience, whether it be positive or negative. However, with reality TV, some audiences may be more affected by the cast's actions as there is more of a sense of real life compared to something like a sci-fi program. It's widely known that reality TV programs air a shocking amount of nudity, profanity and a lot of other inappropriate behavior. Aubrey Rankin who is an analyst with the Parents Television Council argues that the explicit content on reality TV shows have a much bigger effect than some scripted series because children are aware that the show they are watching is real or could be described as real life. There are many debates which support this and a big mass of people believe that reality TV paints an unrealistic and inappropriate portrait and is therefore bad for society and the younger generation which make up for the majority of the audience. Although there is minimal evidence which proves this genre of TV is the reason for acts such as assault, theft and promiscuity, there are multiple instances which suggest some of this country's youth have been influenced by the media and the reality TV industry. Censorship Debates Commonly the majority of reality TV programs are broadcast after the watershed at 9 p.m., this means they are not necessarily required to censor any explicit or violent content. However, this doesn't prevent IVCOM from receiving a mass amount of complaints concerning the lack of censorship within reality TV. Many believe reality TV programs should be positive and have a positive educational purpose. Although, in most cases, this is not the case and they are instead described as vulgar and damaging to our youth. Some countries such as China have gone to the limit of banning singing contests and dating programs in Beijing. Effects of Advertising Production teams do a good job at marketing their product for their specific or targeted audience. However, in the process this can harm some representations of the cast in order to gain views. One example of this could be in print media where cast members are displayed on front covers of magazines with dramatic headlines such as Gemma looks like she's in some trouble. Ultimately, this is likely to attract an audience, however, majority of the time they are inaccurate representations of the character. Health Concerns As reality TV is perceived to be how people actually live, their actions can massively influence their audience. For example, the well-known eccentric TV show Jersey Shore follows a group of young adults across a range of locations as they heavily consume large amounts of alcohol. In essence, this is promoting the consumption of alcohol and persuades audiences to copy their inappropriate behavior. This can be dangerous to some viewers, especially if they are under the age limit. Hypodermic Needle Model the hypodermic needle theory implied mass media had a direct and immediate effect on its audiences. The mass media in the 1940s and 1950s were perceived as a powerful influence on behavior change. Several factors contributed to this strong effects theory of communication, including the fast rise and popularization of radio and television. This trend has remained throughout the last few decades and social media has become a huge part of the popularization of the reality shows such as The Apprentice, this has a huge following online. Hypodermic Needle Model also speaks on the importance of the persuasion industries, such as advertising and propaganda The Pain Fund studies which focused on the impact of motion pictures on children this emphasis the importance in the Hypodermic Needle Model. Uses and Gratifications Theory Most of the theories on the media explained about the effects media had on people. It is the theory which explains of how people use media for their need and gratification. In other words we can say this theory states what people do with media rather than what media does to people. Also this theory is contradictory to the magic bullet theory which states the audience is passive. According to Uses and Gratification Theory, it is not so people make use of the media for their specific needs. This theory can be said to have a user, audience cantered approach. Even for communication, say interpersonal, people refer to the media for the topic they discuss with themselves. They gain more knowledge and that is knowledge is got by using media for reference.
There are several needs and gratification for people they are categorized into five categories. Cognitive needs Effective needs Personal integrative needs Social integrative needs Tension-free needs An example of this would be if someone was to be watching the face they may feel like they were one of the contestant and live their fantasy through them and not think about their reality for however long the episode is. Reception Study Reception theory is a version of reader response theory that emphasizes each particular reader's reception or interpretation in making meaning from a literary text. Reception theory is generally referred to as audience reception in the analysis of communications models. It suggests that modes of engagement and response adopted by different reality TV audiences appear broadly consistent with those identified in relation to a wide variety of genres viewed in diverse national contexts, as charted in the composite multidimensional model of audience reception. To further illustrate this during the 2006 reality game show, Rockstar, Supernova, Applying the composite multidimensional model as its conceptual schema. Passive or active consumption. An active consumption is when the audience will engage and discuss media messages that comes across to them and sometimes question the media messages through life experiences. Others may interpenetrate the message in a different way or question it, by doing this the audience want to be as suggestible to tell them what to think. Shows like Question Time like to get politicians and journalists on the show to discuss worldwide issues and domestic issues, the audience who ask the questions are more active due to the deep discussions they have with the panel than people sitting at home. These days the audience at home can have their say due to social media like Twitter etc. The preferred reading of reality TV is that there are real life people on TV showing how they go about their everyday lives. The oppositional reading of reality TV is that there are random people on TV being paid to get drunk and do silly things. The negotiated reading of reality TV is that these people are being paid and are only making money and getting through life but then other people would say they are being stupid and they are portraying adults in a bad light. Reality TV is both a mixture of passive and active. This is because there are some reality TV shows which will get the audience to tweet along with the show whilst it is on the air. There are also some people who send fan art to some characters on reality TV, such as RuPaul's Drag Race. Some people send in fan art to the contestants where they post it onto their social media to show their appreciation for people taking the time to draw them. People will also write reviews online about the show, saying what they think about it. Whether they like it or not fan culture is a massive thing for all aspects of TV and film. The most common thing for reality TV is meet and greets, where fans get to meet celebrities from their favorite TV shows, this is most common when they go on tour. An example of this would be RuPaul's Drag Race Battle of the Season Tour BOTS, which is where some of the contestants go on tour around America and sometimes the UK and some people can either buy or win VIP tickets where they get to meet some of the contestants while they are on tour. There are also conventions, such as Comic-Con and things like that where people can dress up as their favorite people from TV, or people can go to fancy dress parties dressed like people from reality TV shows, which could mean that they are a fan of the celebrity.